that but you will see that around and I think that's as far as we're going to go into it. The other note that I will just briefly mention is that as we said in the beginning there is a character in a book called You Must Remember This named Lyle Stevick. It's spelled differently. The last name is. Yeah, the last name is. It's spelled with a C-K instead of just a K. But this book is like a super depressing book. <laughs> it opens with an attempted suicide. Of, of yeah. Lyle Stevick, yeah. And Lyle, in this book, w- tries to commit, or like at least contemplates committing suicide a number of times. And there's this weird relationship between his daughter and his half-brother, who's a famous boxer. And it's just this, it's a really depressing thing. And so if somebody had read that book and was just looking for a pseudonym picking that one makes some sense that's a hell of a coincidence though it would be yeah i mean it is and it isn't i mean we all have our favorite books you know and maybe it just happens that this was lyle's favorite book yeah Um, okay i'll 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 let that go it's you know actually it's possible that the guy like took a an english lit class in community college or something like that and they read that book you know maybe i was like no no nobody's gonna let me sign in to a hotel using my favorite book character's name because they know that i am not curious george (laughs) i know i know they know you're not yeah yeah, that's captain kirk i don't have an affair yeah Yeah. anyway that's my last note okay uh do you guys have any other notes that you want to add before we start talking about theories uh there is the anagram theory for his name which i'll touch on briefly which is like you know well, is that a theory uh some people have thought that it, will, it might be and actually i gotta tell you before i heard of this theory even i thought it was an anagram too so i went out to the webs and I found an anagram maker okay mm-hmm. and typed his name in to see if i could find anything interesting and i couldn't yeah so well but, uh, so since it is a theory you want to save it for theories well i guess well it's, it's not a theory as to who he is that's just a theory as to like you know where the layout the name lyle stevick came from okay i'll allow it which is okay thank you ma'am <laughs> Uh, and so there's 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 some thinking there was apparently a now defunct website called I guess Ashley's um, where people went out there to talk about suicide, and it wasn't to discourage or get counseling. It was all like exchanging techniques and ideas and encouraging each other. And there was a guy called I think Stephen or Stevie or something like that. Was it Stephen? Stephen, yeah. Stephen, uh, who talked a lot about hanging himself, kind of in a similar way to the way Lyle did, and then. Somebody, no, it's not similar. It's identical. Yeah. Well, it's identical, except apparently Stephen said that he would use a piece of plastic rope, like like that, that real skinny plastic uh, disposable like kind of rope. Like rope. Yeah. yeah. That kind of stuff. Uh, but other than that, it was the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Down and, to the washcloth. Yeah, it, exactly. You even mentioned that. Which is one of the things that, that, one of the reasons that I said what I said, because one of the things he posted was... He suggested you use some of that that cheap that cheap stuff, like like the kind of stuff that they might use to wrap or tie up Christmas trees at Home Depot. Mm. And that's what made me think. It's the plasticky twine that you can get twi- anywhere in hardware stores. Use it to tie stuff together exactly, all the time because it's his, strong. But his mention of Home Depot made me think, huh? It's kind of too bad they didn't go check over at Home Depot to see if maybe he worked over there. 
But uh, but anyway, but it turns out that Lyle Stevick is an anagram of Kill Stevie. Yeah. And so, but but again, you know, again, this is sheer speculation. Yeah. Uh, Stephen well, and is, let's be honest. Yeah. It, it's not as if St- Stevie was the first person to ever contemplate or discuss committing suicide in that form. People have mm. been doing it for thousands of years. Oh, sure. And so it, it's, I mean, it's not unheard of for somebody to do it in that fashion. Yeah. Mm. The reason that, that Stephen's technique even entered this story uh, I know there are some people online who take credit for it, but is the actual lead investigator on the case said that he was aware of Stephen's technique in his mm. initial report. And actually, this particular technique is, isn't unusual, as Steve says. As, as I've seen lots of other suicides. Not, I mean, not personally, but I've, you know, in, in my many, many investigations of the unsolved. Yeah, uh, things of on the, the internet, unsolved, yes. Of the unsolved, yeah. A lot of people kill themselves this way, yeah. more than you would think, actually. Mm-hmm. The first time I, I heard about one of these, I thought, wow. That's almost unbelievable. Somebody must have murdered him. Yeah. But now, now after after several years of this, I realize it's not at all uncommon. Yeah. So that's it for the story. No. Um, we're going to talk about theories now. The first theory is that he was a foster care kid. I mean, it's I'm, possible that. I'm con- yeah. This one. This one okay. makes no sense. I, that's why I put it first. I like oh, to okay. put my like least <laughs> possible the, the things ones, first. Yeah. yeah. I do the opposite thing that you do, Joe. Uh, I mean, I don't think, and th- I, this isn't to sound. So well, you're thinking he was in foster care when he died? No, that he grew, grew up, up in, in foster it. care, and that's and for some reason that's why nobody recognized him. But I feel like more people would recognize him, and no, his, he would probably have a caseworker. And you would think something. that like Fingerprints some would finger, be on file. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, so I don't, I don't really like it uh, but somebody did you come up with this one or no some, somebody some, else someone okay it was it's a dumb theory I, so yeah of I, course say, I would come think up with that it. and this is this is gonna sound like a bash on the foster system and it is not meant to but the amount of dental work that he had had done would not have been cheap Oh yeah, and so it 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 doesn't say it's not possible, but it it puts it right on the edge. I would say yeah. The next theory is that he might have been. Where I guess the only theories we're talking about is like who Lyle might have been. But yeah, right? Because we it, there's not even worth speculation of like really why he killed himself. But we don't have a but, single shred but, of reason to to be able to come up with that. No. Yeah, but you know, a little spattered in there. But um, you really it's, you got to know who he is to find out why he did it. Mm. Really. Um, so the second theory is that he could have been like a migrant worker or a farmer worker or a logger, some sort of outdoor trade. I don't know why people think this. I think it's the like plaid shirt. No, I know <laughs> why people think this. It's because of the isotope stuff, where it shows that he moved moved across regions within the last year, and so the pe- people are like, well, why would somebody have been traveling that much? They must have been traveling for some kind of employment. So that's where I know that's where the migrant one comes from. I'm sure it is too. It also, you know, would if he were like here illegally or anything like that, that would help explain why. Again, nobody really. Maybe there's some renegade Canadian. Him. Oh, you know. yeah, some kind of renegade yeah. Canadian looking for work in America. I know, for I some reason. Yeah. It could explain um, the weight loss, though. It could explain the weight loss. The big problem with this one is that those are all outdoor professions. Uh-uh. What? No, there's all kinds of migrant work. Like, okay, um, when it's fishing season in Alaska, the canneries are chucked full of people working there. And then the season ends, those people are working in a building. There are certain agricultural things where you end up in the cold storage building sorting the, pro, you know, potatoes or some kind of produce. I don't know. Not all things that are migrant jobs are in the out of doors. You can, if you're lucky, get the ones that are actually indoors. They tend to suck as much because it's cold instead of hot. Yeah, those buildings are usually not well heated. Yeah. No, because they're meant to keep the whatever the... The thing that they're harvesting or making is cool to well, preserve yeah. it. It's, yeah, no, good, very good point. So, but the, the problem I have with this theory is it still doesn't explain what the hell happened to his luggage or his stuff. I mean, oh no, yeah, and not at all. I don't think any of them do really. Yeah. Well, maybe one, but yeah, and it didn't look like from the shape of his hands. I mean, if you look at his hands, he doesn't look like a, a logger or agricultural worker. 
Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of muscle mass on him. Well, and his he hands, doesn't really his hands have the, don't look rough at all. They don't look rough with the exception yeah. of the top calluses. Um, oh. And he didn't have, the you know, the other thing we point out is he didn't have any tan lines. Mm. So he spent the summers indoors, probably. You know, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. There are some migrant worker jobs, and it would explain why he was coming south. Mm -hmm. um, in September, but I don't know. I just, I don't think it, do it doesn't seem right to me for some reason. I, I, I give it more credence than foster care. Oh yeah, because foster care doesn't explain anything. Yeah, well mm -hmm. we're you know doing that thing where we're working. I know. The Getting, okay. Yeah. From Devin's least to favorite theory. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and you know the weight loss. I guess it could have been due to that, but most often it's kind of attributed to likely bulimia, but maybe just homelessness and, and poverty. I would well, say poverty to me sounds more like he may have been living high on the hog for a while and then been out of work and cutting back to save money. I mean, he could have, but he had 160 bucks and he, so he stayed at a hotel that was like nicer, right? I mean, it might have been his last hurrah. You know what? I'm gonna last get a couple bit of, of bucks. Yeah. Last couple of bucks. I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep comfortable for this next couple of days. I'm not gonna be sleeping in an alleyway. Yeah, mm. I th I mean, the other problem I have is how clean and in what good condition his clothes and shoes were in. I had heard his, clo his clothes were in very clean. They were like almost new. Yeah. 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 They were very well kept. Which again, for a guy who's been on the road and homeless and stuff, that makes no sense. There's yeah. No, there's no laundromat as far as I know. In a town of 250, would there be a laundromat? Uh, I mean, probably there would have mm -hmm. been a laundromat, but even then, I mean... It's just this general wear and tear that happens on clothes when you've been, like, you know, kind of abusing them. And mm. the weight loss, you know, if he's wearing pants that were too big, they were still, like, in good condition. And then the thing that always gets me is shoes. Like, shoes get all stuffed up and stuff like that pretty quickly. But again, they, this all could have been stuff that he purchased secondhand recently. Yeah. Uh, if you again say the last hurrah, he's like, you know what? I'm going to wear some nice clothes that are clean and not full of holes for a couple of days. I'm going to go to the Goodwill, and holy crap, I struck gold and I found some nice. Because you can, at least you used to be able to, until eBayers got onto Goodwill. You could go in there and find little, you know, little gold mines. Oh, I mean, I, I found lots of stuff that was new. Yeah. At, at Goodwill all the time for yeah. really dirt cheap. Yeah. yeah. You can find it there easy. Well, then, how do you explain the orthodontia? I don't. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the I mean, he could have actually, he could have been raised in a, in a from, could come from a, a fairly prosperous background, and for whatever reason, went out on his own. It's my understanding the orthodontia was more recent. It mm -hmm. wasn't like a teenage year. Because here's the thing that happens with orthodontia. I don't. Did either of you have braces? Yeah. Yeah. You did. Mm -hmm. So my, I had, um, I had braces for like seven years. Or Holy something crap! Like that. It was a really long time. It probably wasn't actually seven years, but it felt like it seven seemed years. like it to me. But um, no, it wasn't. But I, my teeth, you know, I got my braces off somewhere in in high school, and it's been a couple of years since high school, and I two um, or three, two, just two or three, yeah. But my teeth, they're they're resetting. Right. They started moving back to you know, mm -hmm. the old... Whatever. Not all of the way, right? Because a lot yeah. of the work they did on my mouth was palate work. So my mouth actually fits all my teeth. Mm -hmm. um, but the kind of cosmetic work of making them be perfect yeah. has started to kind of go back. No, I know that my, my teeth actually didn't stay precisely where they right. were exactly when the braces came off. Right. How perfect your teeth are, how, you know, how long you have not had braces. It seemed like it hadn't... Again, this is just like a... Nobody's yeah. ever come out and said like, and he had orthodontia yeah, within. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue with it because. It, but no I don't idea. know. I mean, I, it seemed to me as though it was more recent than like mm -hmm. he had it as a teenager and they like set back. Yeah, you know which what I mean? is another reason that to suspect that he was not a migrant worker or a homeless dude. Yeah. Which 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 fits better with some of our later theories. Yeah, let's right. duke it out yeah. on the next one. <laughs> Funny pun. I know. Again. <sighs> This doesn't explain a whole lot, but there is a theory that 